is there a way to prepare for a catastrophe that will help transcend or transmute it? Okay, yes, there is a way to prepare for a trans... Well, here's... I'm going to put this a different way. If you're preparing for a catastrophe, you know, you might as well be paving the way into a catastrophic life. So I'm not going to say prepare for it because there is a line in A Course in Miracles where it says um, all planning is a defense against the truth, meaning that you have to plan for something to be able to micromanage it in order to control it, in order to feel safe. There's a different way of approaching this. So is there a way to prepare for a catastrophe that will help transcend or transmute it? Yes, you can prepare yourself to be in any circumstance, good, bad, indifferent, that you cultivate a capacity to be present. That means that you're in that beam of light. That means that you're guided impeccably when you move into it. So you're not preparing for a catastrophe. It's not like people who are, you know, were hoarding toilet paper early on in the pandemic or people who are expecting for the next shoe to drop at any moment in some catastrophic way. It's not like you're preparing for that or anticipating that. You're just anticipating that as the divine, as someone who has cultivated a capacity to be present, you'll be told where to go, what to do, and what to say to whom at the most important time, and you'll just be there. And, and you'll know that if you wind up in the middle of a, a challenging situation or something that can seem catastrophic, that you're sent. So you stay present. You don't leave presence when you arrive to something like that. It's the time when you step back and let the divine lead the way. And then you find that you're the, the, the one who has, like truly the awakening journey is the hero's journey. You're going to show up naturally with an acumen to be heroic. It'll look heroic to other people. But what it looks like is that the voice of sanity is speaking through you. The voice of win-win is, is in evidence and it's coming through you in your actions and in your words. And you're at one with the divine. You are the light of the world that you came here to be. So that's the hero's journey is when you finally admit that you are divine and that this human vehicle is carrying around your divinity. And so it's your, your way to approach life and have the two hands and the two eyes and the two ears that are effective here and be a realist in your approach to things. You're still getting guided very clearly about how to show up, but you don't anticipate or prepare for a catastrophe you allow yourself to abide in the divine light and you'll always be in that space where you're the most effective one. Um, and then you'll, the other beautiful thing about that is if you happen to be the one who's the most connected and the most uh, apparently the light of the divine, you're going to light the way for everyone else and then things start happening more seamlessly and other people feel their hero arrive at the same time. Often on planet Earth, we're waiting for other people's permission that we want someone to do it first, to embody it first in order to be able to show up this way when it is our birthright, each of our birthright. And so don't wait. Be the one that you, you cultivate the capacity to bring others. It, there's no waiting here. There's only now. There's only presence. So you might as well just cultivate this capacity to be very present and then you'll be told exactly what to do that lets you show up to any situation and be the light and be the healing presence within it.